Hello and welcome back to my channel Learn with Nikhil. So in this video we have taken an another sum on redraw the figure. So in this question we have given this figure and we have to redraw it. So as you can see the dimensions of this figure it is clearly given each and every dimension. In redraw the figure we can start with any side like we can start from the center top bottom. Mostly we will start with the center so first we will draw the center line. So we can get the exact idea about the width of the figure. Then we will mark the width. So from the center it is given. The total distance of 100 it is given. So from the center 50 on both the sides we can mark. So the total is 100 millimeters. So that is the center part. Now after this, this distance is given is 50. So from the center 25 on both the sides we can mark. The height total this is given is 58. So this is the bottom most point I will select and from that above 58 I will mark a point. So you can start the figure from anywhere. So first I draw the center line. Then I am taking this distance 58. So the bottom part is fixed. Now from here the Width thickness is 50, so 25 on both the sides I can mark, just marking these lines. Now we have a curve over here of radius 10. So this line, we have already marked the width 100 and here we have the radius of 10, the curve. So I'll just draw the light lines over here. The width 100 I have already marked. So these two lines are over there. Now for drawing the curve of radius 10. First I'll on the compass on the scale I'll take the radius as 10 millimeters. After that now the curve is over here. So keeping the pointer as you can see. First, I will make the center point for the circle. So, this is the one arc of the center point. Same thing, I will do it over here. And then join the curve from the other end. The video just, uh, I forgot to record the video this time. So, you can just complete the curve and draw the curves. The same thing, you have to do it on both the sides. After doing that, you have to move forward where... I have drawn the curve over here also the same thing you have to do the same procedure where you have to consider the two points and using those two points you have to draw the curve. So here also I have marked the center point. Now this curve the given radius is 15 millimeter. you can see it in the figure. So I have located the center point and using the compass I have drawn the curve of 15 millimeter. Now with the same technique, I'll draw it now on the here, other end also, other side also. I'll show you how it, the figure. curve has been drawn. So here I'll so show here you how again. I have drawn. So the same distance, radius of 15 first millimeters. I'll mark it is a line, there. 15 above. So see, I'm keeping the point over here. Cut the an arc of 15 millimeter. The bottom side also it is 15. Now from here I can locate the end point of the curve. So this is the point where it ends. So this is the intersection where it ends. I have to draw the curve. So I'll keep the pointer over here. Same thing I did it on the opposite side also. Now see how the curve is drawn. So this curve is of radius 15. The bottom side both curves are radius 15 and the upper side is radius 10. Now you have to do the bottom part. The bottom part the curve is of radius 27. You can refer the figure. This is 27. Now the end point we have already considered. So this is the end point we have already located at the start. So from here I will cut the point. This is of distance 27. Now keeping the pointer over here I will draw the curve at the bottom. So this is the curve which is there in the question also of 27. Now you have to just draw the tangents joining these two curves this and this. I'll extend this curve over a bit so you can understand how the tangent is drawn. Otherwise you will not get it. 
so i'll extend this curve a bit more i have to draw a line like a tangent joining these two curves which will give a smooth surface so as you can see how it is drawn here also it is clear you have to draw tangent cut touching this both curves so this is how it is done join this dark join this dark now for the upper side this distance is 50 so from the center considering 25 on both the sides so this is 25 from here also 25 so the center part is 50 now extending upwards the distance is 30 given till the center point so this is the center point for drawing again the curves so I'll draw the center point of the circle here consider this drawing this chain lines which is the center of the circle now from here 30 above will be the center point of drawing the curves so this is the 30 above point now from here I'll draw the two curves the inner curve is 10 millimeters the inner semicircle is 10 millimeters so considering this as 10 on the compass keep the pointer over here draw the curve extend I'll extend this curve more bit also so that we have to join it same doing it on this side also so joining this two lines you can see it is dark so joining this two so this is the line now again you have a curve the radius given that is 35 35 millimeter the radius is given so the curve is extended a bit so I'll extend these two semicircles a bit extend is a bit more so that will be the start point of the radius 35 curve so I'm extending a bit now this will be the two points from here I'll consider drawing an arc on the center line so taking the radius of 35 on the compass now this is the start point I am considering so it will cut at the exact center so center it is cutting so the distance is proper the R should intersect at the center and we have drawn this curve Now the upper side curve is also a radius of 35 and the curve is radius 15 so this is 15 you can see the dimension is not given proper in the question but the outer curve is 15 so from this two points I will draw the curve of 15 and same procedure the radius of 55 now it is given that this curve is of 55 millimeter so it starts from here and ends to the other end so now I'll consider a point the start and the end point so this will be the point on the compass I'll take a distance of 55 millimeter locate the start and the end point of the curve so this is the start point from where I'm drawing the curve cut it over here same thing from here cut it over here exact center now keep the pointer over here and draw the curve so this is how you draw the curve so for drawing the curve just remember you have to locate the start and the end point of the curve and from those two points you have to get the center point now here also you have two curves of radius 10 so just locate the start and the end point of the curve so this is 10 millimeters so the curve is like this over here so as you can see 
so this is one point from where the curve starts so putting the pointer over there we'll cut an arc now this curves ends over here so from there we can cut an another arc so this completes keep the pointer over here and draw the curve so this is how you draw the curve locate the start and end point of the curve same thing you'll understand it much better over here so this is the one point from where we will start drawing the curve so with radius 10 cut an arc the curve ends over here keep the pointer cut an arc so from here complete the curve so this is how you draw the smooth curve now with this we have completed the entire figure just make the lines dark and just mark the dimensions Mark the dimensions whatever given are in the question. And we are done. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe. If you have any doubts, any queries, let me know in the comment section. You can also connect with me on Instagram.